there is your Star Spangled Banner for this year to start off the 2021 season here at Mays. The first few games, with the exception of next Friday, are all on the road through December as we will travel to Newton. We'll also travel up to Salina for some basketball action. And uh, then we'll be back in January with a lot of home games. Here's with your starting lineups. Here's Dan Nacarano. The Mays Eagles will go with 5'10 senior Keegan Herod, 6'4 senior, number 5, Jacob Hanna, who averaged 15 points a game last year, scored 24 points in the Mays opener at Dodge City on Friday night. He's going on to play Division II basketball at Springfield, Illinois. Six foot one senior Winston Bing. He scored 19 points against Hutchinson last year in the game early in in uh, December. Six foot seven junior Mason Belcher and six foot three junior Jaden Gustafson. For the Hutchinson Salthawks, it'll be number one Trayton Peterson, who scored 17 points last year against Mays on January 7th. Number two, Jake Hoos, he scored nine points in that game against Mays last year. Number three, Micah Montandon, who won the shootout championship at the tournament at Colby last season, along with his uh, teammate Kinzer Newquist. Number 13, Garrett Robertson, the sophomore, five foot 10, the sweet shooter. Number 21, Miles Thompson. Glad to see him as a Salt Hawk. Did a great job leading the football team to eight victories at quarterback. Played at Bueller last year and averaged about 10 points a game for the Bueller Crusaders, but he's a Salt Hawk this year at six foot seven. Looking forward to seeing what Miles does. One of the players on the bench for Mays is actually a distant cousin of mine. His mom is Donna Schmidt. It's Sam Schmidt. And I think that's the first time I have ever had a relative that's been playing in the sport that I've been broadcasting a game with. Long overdue. That, so it, it, that just tells you how old I am, huh? <laughs> so anyway, Donna, I see Sam out uh, warming up, and uh, he's on the bench right now, but he's been playing a little bit. Tip, uh, there will be not an a, a opening tip. It's going to be inbounded by the visiting team. The Hutch, Sawhawks and Hutchison is underway, trying to get it down low to Miles Thompson. Ball trickles away on the floor, and it'll be a Hutchinson turnover, and Mays comes up with the basketball. They'll feed it up inside on the inside quickly, and signs to Gustafson. Now back outside into the hands of Bing. Bing wings to the left side to Herod. Herod has it, left side, guarded by Garrett Robertson. The jumper from outside, way off its mark, no good. And it's going to be Mays basketball, though, as it was ticked by after it left the hand of the shooter. And it will off the hands of Bing. It will be off of Hutchison. So inbounding will be Mays. They'll lob it in out high. It goes to Belcher. Wide open underneath and off the hands and out of bounds off of Hannah. It'll be Hutchison basketball just underway. 7.28 to go in this first quarter of play. No score as of yet. Here comes Hoos up the court. Looks to the right side. Montandon with it. Back outside. Pulls up. Good defense by the Mays Eagles, man-to-man. Robertson had it. Now there's Peterson. Who's on the left side. Rolls baseline light. Left. Kicks it through. They'll whip it around the outer perimeter. And trying to work it down low underneath the Thompson. Miles has it. They'll work and isolate on one-on-one. Takes it down low. Shot up and in. Miles Thompson with his first basket as a Salt Hawk. Gives the Salt Hawks a two-to-nothing lead early on. Good drive down low. Actually went to his right hand, even though he's left-handed. Feed down low, shot up and good. We're tied. Just Gustafson, excuse me, was able to get the score, and we're tied at two apiece. Just underway in Mays, Kansas. Salt Hawk basketball on KWBW, Hutchison, Kansas. Peterson on the outside. Now top now to Robertson. Backing it up a little bit. Garrett Robertson, super soft out there with the basketball. Rolls to his left side. 2-3 zone this Now time. they zoned it, yep. Peterson has it. Robertson over quickly to Hoos, back to Robertson, right side to Peterson. Good ball movement thrown away, though. Bing jumps the lane and comes up with it. Here's the layup up and good. And Bing all the way down. Winston Bing scores to give Mays a quick 4-2 lead, and a timeout's going to be taken by the Salt Hawks of Hutch. We'll get a half-minute break in. 6.05 to go in this first quarter of play. Mays 4, Hutchinson 2. We'll be back in 30 seconds. 
Hutchinson High School Sports is on the air thanks to these outstanding Salt Hawk boosters. Portfolio Recovery Associates of Hutchinson, Dr. Randy Smith of Appalachian Animal Hospital, the Wynn Insurance Group of Hutchinson, Summit Surgical, the Hutchinson Clinic, the Medicine Shop, and Jackson Me. Hutchinson High School and Eagle Radio Sports thank these Salt Hawk boosters for their continued support of Hutchinson High School Athletics. Just jumped the uh, passing the lane. passing lane and was able to come up with an easy basket. I understand the YouTube audio is about two and a half minutes off, so it's off a bunch. We apologize that for you folks out there as we're experimenting to try to put our audio into the video. Ball on the outer perimeter. On Tandon down low, hands it off, and basket's up and good by Miles Thompson. He has four and a nice pass by Montadon. And we're tied to four apiece. Montandon, excuse me. Mays changes up their defenses frequently. That's something that Coach Chris Grill has done for quite a number of years. Early in the season, give the Salt Hawks a lot of credit for recognizing the change and still scoring. Top side of the basketball, Keegan Herod goes right side for Mays over to Bing. Bing off the, the, the pick, rolls back outside. Nice switch out there by the Salt Hawks. They'll work it over on the left side. We're tied at four. Ball knocked in and out of the hands of Jacob Hanna. Hanna will get set to inbound right in front of the Salt Hawk bench. Ball comes out high. When we're at home, our audio will go directly into the computer provided by the NFHS network. So we won't have that problem with home games, but on the road... I'll struggle a little bit. Jumper from the outside, being shot off, no good. Hoos with the rebound for Hutch, and Jake will bring it up. Jake Hoos, he's a senior this year. Right side, down low underneath to Thompson in traffic, kicks it outside, gets it into the hands underneath Peterson basket, good. Miles Thompson had to work wherewithal before he fell down to get the pass over to Trayton, and Trayton took it baseline up and in. Hutch up six four. Corner right, shot on its way. Good, a three-pointer from outside by Mason Belcher. First three of the game for either team. And Mays is on top at 7-6. 4.30 to go in his first quarter of play. Peterson slices inside, kicks the corner right. Shot on its way. Nope, can't answer. Rebound's going to be cleared out there by Herod. Here comes Mays on the run. A little bit of contact and a foul call. Let's see who they're going to whistle. The foul is going to be charged against Garrett Robertson. That'll be his first first team foul against the Salvats. 4-18 to go in this first quarter. Hudson down by one, seven to six. It will not be a shooting situation. Mays will inbound far side baseline. Hutchinson stays man to man. Here comes the inbound. Bing faked the pass, gets it in. Back outside now into the hands of of Belcher. Mason Belcher dumps it down low underneath. They kick it back outside into the hands of Hannah. Hannah with 4.08 to go in the first quarter of play. Hands it off right side. The drive, there's a block by Thompson. Outlet quickly comes out. Hutch with the basketball. On Tandon, shot on his way. Nope, not there. Rebound's going to be cleared out there by Kyle Grill as he has just entered the ball game. Kyle is a junior, six foot six. Drive the other way, shot up and good. And Grill was able to score it. His first basket after just checking into the ball game. It's a three-point lead now for the Mays Eagles. The drive by Hoos. Layup doesn't go. Rebound, though. Thompson's there. He puts it up and scores it. Miles Thompson with a half dozen right now. 9-8 ball game. A one-point Mays Eagles lead with 3.29 to go in the quarter. And a drive to the basket and a foul called. It will be a shooting foul. And then at the line will be Jacob Hanna. A lot of action. Good exchange. It's always entertaining when Hutchinson and Mays play each other. Last year, the games were very competitive. Mm-hmm. Mays prevailed in the first one, 67-61, and the second one, 64-55. At the line, Hannah, his free throws up and good. Rolled around a little bit, but finally went down and in. Hannah scored in double digits 18 games last season. He's consistent. Shot up missing, rebound cleared away by Hutchinson as Robertson jumps in and comes up with the basketball. 
10-8 ball game. There's a turnover as Hutchison turns the ball over. Bing comes up with a maze lead. They'll kick a corner left, a three from the corner. Rattles out, no good. Miles Thompson with a rebound off the missed shot by Avery Johnson. Avery Johnson has just checked in. Of course, he was a quarterback this year. And a good one he was for the Mays Eagles. Ball on the outside, Robertson. He's only a sophomore, by the way. Outside Hoos, inside to Thompson. Shot up way short, no good. Out of bounds. Miles says, hey, somebody had to touch that. And they say, nope, it's going to be Mays Eagle basketball. With 2.48 to go in this first quarter of play, Mays leading by two at 10-8. And with possession of the basketball. Some substitutions taking place for the Mays Eagles. We'll run those down in just a second. Grill with the ball right in front of the Salt Hawk bench. Offside now to Herod. Back outside into the hands of Gustafson. Top side again to Herod. Left wing. Quickly over to Gustafson. Holds up. The Herod on the top. He'll shoot and score. Three-pointer. Keegan Herod knocks down the tray, and it's a five-point maze lead, 13-8, with 2.14 to go in his first quarter of play. That's it. Pulled it with one with a Miles Thompson basket earlier on. Here's Thompson. Jab steps. Backs outside. Into the hands of Hoos. Jake Hoos directs traffic with that left hand. Now he goes right side. Montandon. Puts it on the floor, holds up, pass over to Thompson. Gets away from the defender layup, good. Miles with eight already in the first quarter of play. Miles Thompson on the left side. They jumped the route trying to get to the ball. Miles took advantage of it with no defense and took it in and scored it. Cuts that lead down to three at 13-10 now. Mays with the lead, the feed down low underneath. Gustafson guarded by Thompson. Back outside Avery Johnson. Over the right wing, a minute and 27 to go in the quarter. And a drive inside, and what do we have? A reach-in foul call. This one's going to be on the Salt Hawks. Trey Peterson. And you're so correct. Trey picks up his first. That'll be the 13th foul against Hutchinson. And into the lineup now checking will be Keelan O'Sullivan. He's 6'3", sophomore for the Salt Hawks. Not a shooting situation. Ball comes out to Avery Johnson. He gathers it in. And yeah, it goes right side with the ball over to Hannah. Hannah out top again. They're working now to Herod. Back left side, Avery Johnson into the lane. Scoops one up, scores, shoots it up to score. Not there. Rebound by Mays, but then taken away by Thompson, and he'll come out with it on the dribble. Long pass up court. Mon- Montandon underneath. Basket good. How about a 45-foot assist, Dan? And Montandon puts it up and in for Hutchinson. Pass was right on the money. Down by only one is Hatch, 13 to 12. Mays with the lead in the ball with 51 seconds to go in the quarter. The drive inside. Harris shot up and teetering, no good. Ball knocked away, out of bounds. It'll be Hutchison basketball as it goes off Gustafson. And Hutchison will have the basketball. Here comes Trayton Peterson back in. And Peterson will check back into the Hutchison lineup. So Hutch with 43 and a half seconds left. Have an opportunity to score and take the lead here at the end of the first quarter of play. Clock down to 38. Who's right side. Montandon. Jab steps on Bing. Now starts to drive it in. Pulls it back outside. Looks to Who's out front. but goes to down to Thompson. He's double teamed down the low blocks. Drives. Spins. Goes up. And a reaching foul is going to be called. Nice job of making him reach inside and foul. And Miles Thompson will have an opportunity at the line to shoot free throws. First foul of the game committed by the Mays Eagles. That one whistled against Kyle Grill. Kyle Grill scored four points on Friday night against Dodge, dished out quite a few assists. He would probably be a starter, but he's nursing an injury that's left over from football season. Free throws up and missing by Miles. Miles Thompson will shoot the second one, a chance to tie here with 21.7 seconds to go in quarter one. Fans will remember Kyle Grill's older brother, Caleb, who's playing Division I basketball. And he nails it. Nine points for Thompson, and we're tied at 13. And coming up quickly, getting set to check in is Nick Lang. He's going to stay at the table as he was not up at the table ready to check in. So 21.7 seconds to go, and Mays will inbounds. 
Avery Johnson, that's the ball back to Grill. Kyle Grill will bring the ball up. Angles to the right side. Over to Bing. Feed down low blocks underneath. That's Sam Schmidt that's in there. The drive inside. Layup doesn't go. Battle for the board. Thompson rips one away. Here comes Hutch. We're tied at 13. Down to three seconds. Down to two. And the ball sails out of bounds. It'll be with one-tenth of a second left. Mays basketball. Hate to score a turnover when there's only one-tenth of a second to go, but got to put it on the books. And then we'll get set to inbound, and that's going to be about it. So for this first quarter of play, as soon as they get it in and touch, that buzzer will go off. And now substitution checking in will also be into the lineup. Dante King for the Salt Hawks of Hutch. So protecting fouls right there. Trayton Peterson will check out. Here comes the inbound to get it in, and that's it. That's the end of the quarter. We're tied at 13 all at the end of one. We'll be back after a one minute timeout right here on the Salt Hawk Radio Network. Hutchinson Community College and Blue Dragon Athletics are proud to support the Hutchinson Salt Hawks. Whether you're working towards your degree or are a busy working individual with limited time to attend class, Hutch CC has what you're looking for. And for those still in high school, Hutchinson Community College's Step Ahead program provides a head start on a quality education, and it may not cost the student anything. Visit hutchcc.edu or call 888-GO-HUTCH for more details. And good luck this season to the Salt Hawks. The medicine shop, the medicine shop, when you drop your prescriptions off, the personal care you'll find there will make you feel all better. The medicine Delivered with speed, the lowest price is guaranteed. Get your prescriptions with no hassle. At 14th and Main at the Little White Castle, you'll feel all better at the medicine shop. Well, Stuart had it, our in the studio engineer. Says we're sounding okay. We're tied up at 13 apiece here at the end of one quarter of play. Stewart's got a new toy. He's got a drone. Oh. <laughs> he goes out on the weekends and has some pretty cool drone shots. And he put it to music the other day as he followed the train all over the Mulvane area. So that's pretty cool. I'd love to have a drone. Don't have time to mess with it, but I'd love to have a drone. They're pretty amazing. It would be fun to have. Maybe we could instill that into... Putting it in one of the gymnasiums, huh? You think that would work? Back to live action now. Mays with the basketball. We're tied up at 13 apiece. They had a five-point lead at one time at 13 to 8. There's an alley-oop, and it got it to go. Athletic play by Hannah, and he goes down hard. Did he call a foul on the play as well? Hannah went up and brought it down, and, and somebody came underneath him, and the foul is going to be called on who's. And Jake's going to pick up his first personal It'll be an N1 coming for Jacob Hanna. That was an amazing catch and finish by Jacob Hanna. The pass was high and a little bit behind him. He was well above the rim. You might want to remember the name. A senior, six foot four, Jacob Hanna can really sky. Heading for Division II Springfield, Illinois to play basketball next year. I can see why. Solid ball player has given his team a 15 to 13 lead. Free throw does not go, and a rebound is cleared out of there by coming up with the rebound was Nick Lang, sophomore, six foot four. Ball on the outside, Garrett Robertson. He's another sophomore out there. The Peterson back outside, Montanan. Right side drive by Peterson. Ball knocked away, and Hannah comes up with it. Here's the sprint all the way down. He'll take it in strong and score it. That's big-time move right there by Jacob Hanna. So Hanna now with four points. Actually with five points, excuse me. Yeah, as, uh, makes it 17-13. Shot up and good. A banker. Robertson with the three-pointer from outside. He didn't call it, but it still counts. 17-16, lead is cut to one. Mays with the basketball in the lead. And it's trying to get to the basketball. Finally, they do cover up, and that's Winston Bing with it. Back outside now to go to Hannah. Dribble drive on the right side. Johnson, and jump ball is going to be called. 
nice job defensively on a low box. As Avery tried to kind of step around on the baseline, and when he did, that ball was in his hands, and Hutch jumped out and clamped onto it. Once again, Hutchinson playing Mays very, very tough here at Mays. When you look at the two teams' records in previous years, Mays with much more, many more wins than Hutchinson, but somehow Hutchinson elevates their games when they play Mays. Yeah, they really do. Hoos, right side now to go to Peterson. Drives inside. Trayton gets some space, puts it up and in. That's a big-time play right there by Trayton Peterson. He has four points for the ball game. And Hutchinson takes the lead at 18-17. Hannah on the far side, guarded by Trayton Peterson. Goes right wing. They'll lob it down low. Loose ball picked up by nobody as it stays out of bounds. And it will be Hutchinson basketball. Good hustle by Trayton, Trayton Peterson. He could have went for that ball over there, but I think he knew it was going to be off the Mays Eagles. Third turnover forced by Hutchinson, and Mays has committed three turnovers now. 6.09 to go. First half of play. We're in the second quarter. Hutchinson with a one-point lead in the ball. The drive baseline left. Thompson, and he'll be fouled before he could take it up on the shot. And that will be the second team foul against the Mays Eagles. Belcher picks up the personal. So far in this game, Hutchinson shooting very effectively, 8 for 12 from the field. Ball comes out high, now to Thompson. He'll drive to the right side, back into Garrett Robertson's hands. On the outer perimeter, Hoos rolls on the outside to Trayton Peterson. Peterson back to Hoos. Hoos rolls to the right side, underneath, all the way through the basket, to the baseline. On ball outside now. He'll whip it again. Here comes Hoos underneath, wraps it around, scores it. Nice job by Jake Hoos. On the basket, Jake Hoos makes it 2017. Good drive by Hoos from that right side. He did it twice. That time he put it up and in. Foul quickly called. Or is the ball knocked, just knocked, knocked out of bounds? Knocked out on the sideline. Jake Hoos has a very impressive first step. He can get past people in a hurry. That was a very impressive move. Into the ball game for Hutchinson, Maddox Hennehaw. Mad Dog Hennehaw will check in. Peterson will take a break. So he will check out of the contest. Hutchinson with five team fouls now. Ball comes outside now into the hands of Herod. Herod to the right side. Hannah has it. Ball knocked away. Out of bounds. It'll be retained by the Mays Eagles with 5.23 to go in this first half of play. We're in the second quarter. They'll slap the ball right side. Johnson had it for a second. Back outside now to Hannah. Hannah right wing to Avery Johnson. Back out top of the key. They go the other side with the basketball. That's going to be Grill. Grill guarded by Hoos. To the right side, Avery Johnson. Waves everybody to the left. Outside drive. There's Herod. Ball taken away by the Sawdox as Lang came up with the steal. Here comes Hutch. Just under five to go. 4.56 remaining to go in this first half of play. Hoos drives in. Has it batted away. Out comes Mays all the way down. Hannah Hill slamming home. Seven points. Actually, right. Seven points for Hannah. Four thirty remaining to go in his first half of play. The drive ball knocked away. Last touched out of bounds by Mays. It'll be Hutchinson basketball. And Robertson will get set to inbound. Garrett Robertson, five foot ten inch sophomore. Well, they're going to give that ball to Mays. They really, they certainly are. They're going to come down and say it was off of Hutchinson. I know the hand is kind of shaking his hand because he slapped the the pane, the glass at the other end. Mays will set up down by one. 2019 Hutchinson. Herod, ball knocked away, turned over. Turnover number five committed by Mays. And Bing and Belcher back in for Mays. 2019, Hutchison with the lead by one with 4.17 remaining to go. Again, we're in the first half of play, second quarter of action. From Mays, Kansas, Glenn Grimble, Dan Nacarado here with you tonight. Pass out high, goes the Hoos, he'll roll off the pick to the left side, reverses, comes back out, takes it inside, give and go. 
May steals it away. Here we go down the other way. Hannah. Underneath shot up and good by Hannah. Allie, you dunked to finish the fast break. Nicely done. Four baskets for Hannah in the quarter plus the free throw. 21-20 now. Mays with the lead by one. 3.37 remaining to go in this first half of play. Here's Hoos. He'll drive in, puts it up, and scores it. Jake Hoos with his second basket. Another athletic drive to the basket. Little alley-oop underneath. Ball sails out of bounds. It'll be Hudson basketball trying to get it to Jacob Hanna. You could tell how he could just take over a ball game if you wish to. And we, we would prefer he didn't do that here. Does he have three dunks in the second quarter? Something like that. That one was just tremendous. 22-21. Hutchinson with the lead by one with 3.13 to go in the second quarter. Here's Hoos outside. Rolls off the pick set by... By Lang, comes all the way through. Robertson, back to Hoos. Hoos takes it in and drives and draws the foul. He'll shoot free throws. Coach Grill really upset with that one. He thought it might have been a clean block underneath. They elect to whistle the foul. Gustafson will pick up his personal, his first. Only the third team foul against the Mays Eagles, Dan, as they've been able to keep pretty foul free. Free throws up and missing. And we're talking about those three dunks in this quarter by Jacob Hanna. Normally that just brings the crowd into a frenzy, but no fans allowed. No tonight. fans, just uh, some of the freshman and JV players spread out on that south side of the gymnasium here. Matter of fact, the bleachers we are usually up in are pushed to the back. There's Hoos as he hits the second one. He has five now, and Hutchinson lead is at two at 23-21 with 2.54 to go. His first half of play. Left side, Gustafson for Mays. Over to Bing, back outside now. Bing dribble drives, holds up at the free throw line. They cut off of him, he'll alley-oop it down low, shot it not there, and a foul call. They're going to whistle this one on Nick Lang. Should be a shooting situation coming for the Mays Eagles with 2.36 remaining to go. In the second quarter of play, Hutchinson clinging to a two-point lead, 23-21. Bad news is that foul actually went against Jake Hoos. Who sure did. Second personal foul. I stand corrected. At the line, Hannah. Free throw toss is off, no good. In the games last season that stayed fairly close, part of the reason they stayed close is Mays did not convert free throws very well. They only shot 50% from the free throw line in both games last year. Here comes the toss. This one's up and good by Hannah. It's a double-digit lead already, or scoring for Jacob Hannah. And he pulls his team within one at 23-22. Hutch with the lead. Ball in the Hutch hands as King's back in there. He came in a little bit before the end of the first quarter of play. Back on the outer perimeter, here's Miles Thompson. Thompson to the right side. On Tandon, back outside, Thompson, a long three ball, got it, a big three by Thompson. First basket of the second quarter for Miles. He's in double figures already. 12 points for Thompson. A minute and 55 to go in second quarter of play. Hutch with a four point lead, their largest lead. For Hutch, feed down low, stolen away. Miles Thompson with the basketball. He'll bring it on the dribble, gives it up quickly to Robertson. He'll drive in, can't get it done. Rebound's going to be cleared out of there by Mays. And Mays will bring it up quickly. There's Hannah. Gives it off quickly to, to a teammate, and a foul's going to be called. They're going to call a blocking foul on the baseline. Gustafson should shoot free throws. Micah Montana had fallen down in the paint and actually got whistled for the foul for rolling on the foot of, of Jaden Gustaf- Gustafson. And Gustafson will go to the line to shoot a couple. Free throws up and rolling down and good. His first free throw, his third point of the game. He used the entire apparatus on that he shot. He did. Went around the cylinder and finally dropped down and threw. Belcher will check out of the contest. Free throw toss short, no good. Comes off quickly into the hands of Hutchinson. 
And Hutch with a three-point lead at 26-23 with a minute and 27 to go in his second quarter of play. Ball on the outside. Montenden goes right side over to Robertson. He'll bounce away from pressure. Montenden has it, holds up, lobs it underneath, trying to get to it. It's Lang, and it's off his hands out of bounds. 11th, or excuse me, 7th turnover committed by Hutchinson. If you're watching the live stream and you're a little confused by seeing a few people in the bleachers, those are the members of the freshman basketball teams for Mays and Hutchinson. Yeah, they're spread out on that eight side to the only side that has the bleachers pulled out and we're about 20 feet away from the court just sitting at a regular table ball outside Mays are working on the outer perimeter I'll finally give the hands now of Herod he'll give it off the ding he'll shoot and miss rebound Miles Thompson long pass down court Montanen underneath head face goes up and scores it nice patience by Micah Montanen Montandon with four points now inside of 37 seconds. Hutch with a three-point lead. Nice pass by Miles Thompson. Led him perfectly, and like you said, great patience. The three ball from outside is good. And Keegan Herod with his second tray. He has six, and it's a two-point ball game at 28-26. Hutchinson feet inside. Robertson, they're going to work it for one with 16 seconds to go. They'll back it up a little bit. Now Robertson to the right side is... Coach Miller says get going with it. Robertson has it again. Five seconds, four seconds. Rolls to the left side. Got to put it up. Gives it outside. Montenden shot up and good. A three-pointer. A three-pointer at the buzzer by Montenden. And Hutchinson takes into the locker room a 31-26 lead. A five-point lead for the Southhawks. Good play by Micah Montenden to uh, take his time and finally be able to deliver right as the buzzer sounds. And Hutchinson takes into the locker room a five-point lead. We'll take a two-minute timeout. We'll come back and add up all the numbers. Have the medicine shop in-game capsule coming your way right after we return in two minutes to Mays, Kansas. Get the latest news, weather, and sports in one place. Hutchpost.com. It's your one-stop news source powered by Eagle Radio. Plus, play fun contests. Save with big deals of Central Kansas. Get the latest ag news, daily obituaries. Keep tabs on your favorite sports teams, including the Salt Hawks and Blue Dragons. And be sure to sign up for the Hutch Post Morning News in your inbox. 24 hours a day, get news when you want it at HutchPost.com. It's time to finish your taxes. Whether we filed your extension or not, bring your tax information to H&R Block and let our tax professionals ensure you get every deduction and credit you deserve. And our offices in Hutchinson, Lyons, and Ellsworth are open to assist you. Don't wait to file your tax return and risk penalties for missing the deadline. Make an appointment now and put our expertise to work for you. Hutchinson High School Sports is on the air thanks to these outstanding Salt Hawk boosters. Portfolio Recovery Associates of Hutchinson, Dr. Randy Smith of Appalachian Animal Hospital, the Wynn Insurance Group of Hutchinson, Summit Surgical, the Hutchinson Clinic, the Medicine Shop, and Jackson Me. Hutchinson High School and Eagle Radio Sports thank these Salt Hawk boosters for their continued support of Hutchinson High School Athletics. Need to send someone money? Pay a babysitter? Split the bill? Use FirstPay. It is the person-to-person payment option located right inside your online banking app. There is no need to download an additional application. It is simple, safe, and secure. We're first for you. Visit fnbhutch.bank to learn more or click on your First National Bank app to get started. You can also stop into a location nearest you, and we're happy to help. First National Bank of Hutchison, member FDIC, equal housing lender. You're listening to Salt Hawk Basketball on KWBW Radio in Hutchinson, Kansas. One minute after the hour of 8 o'clock, so glad to have you along. We're at halftime. 31-26, Salt Hawks with the lead by five points. Time for the medicine shop in game capsule brought to you by the Little White Castle at 14th of Maine, 1401 Maine, North Maine to be exact, and that's the medicine shop. And I tell you what, Rick Stone and the gang do a great job. They put out a nice little newsletter. They'll send it to your inbox on your email. It has all kinds of interesting items. And, of course, don't forget they have that super, I call it the super flu shot. It's for you folks that are 65 and older like me. 
that uh, need a little bit more protection on an immunocompromised system that you might have as you get older, and uh, it, it will take care of that uh, in a big way. It's the it's called the the HD, and it's by Flu Zone, and you can just ask and say, hey, I want that super duper senior citizen. If you're over 65 and older, to get that flu shot. Don't forget they got the pneumonia vaccinations as well, Shingrix as well for shingles, and uh, all those things they'll be able to take care of you. Plus, over-the-counter product they deliver. There's just a class act, and that's uh, what you want in a pharmacy. You want pharmacists to know what they're doing, and Rick Stone has done a great job with his daughter. Lacey is one of the pharmacists and puts several other ones. Brent Ballman, a great uh, job as compound pharmacist that he does as well. This is the medicine shop, 1401 North Main in Hutchinson. Dan, what do the numbers look like? Well, they look very good for Hutchinson. Hutchinson coming to Mays and taking on the number four ranked team in the state of Kansas in 5A, a team that blew out Dodge City 75 to 35. Hutchinson leads it at halftime 31 to 26. And to give you a little bit more context, since 2014, Hutchinson has been 19 and 106 in basketball games overall. The Mays Eagles have been 96 and 40. So Hutchinson is trying to shock the state of Kansas tonight with their season opener. They're led in scoring by Miles Thompson, the six foot seven senior, with 12 points in that first half. Trey Peterson scored four. Jake Hughes five. Micah Montandon seven. Garrett Robertson made a three-point basket. 31 points for Hutchinson. They were 13 of 20 from the field, 65%. And two for four from the free throw line. For the Mays Eagles, no surprise, their leading scorer, Jacob Hanna, with 10 points. Nine of those coming in the second quarter. Keegan Harrod scored six. Kyle Grill with two. Winston Bing scored two. Three points apiece for Mason Belcher and Jaden Gustafson. 26 points for the Mays Eagles. They were 10 of 18 from the field in that first half. 3 for 7 from the free throw line. Hutchinson Salt Hawks lead it at the half, 31-26. Both teams scored 13 in the first quarter of play, but Hutchinson was able to pull away with a nice three ball by Miles Thompson. A three right at the buzzer by uh, Hutchinson's Montandon uh, to give Hutchinson that 31 31- 26 lead. We'll take a two minute timeout, let us stretch our legs here a little bit, get set for the second half of action. Uh, Hutchison trying to go for three tonight as the freshman won one big and the JB won uh, by a five point margin. Hutchison trying to take care of the varsity action as well. We will take a quick two minute timeout. We'll be back with more from Mays, Kansas right after this two minute timeout. Basketballs are bouncing and crowds are cheering. Your best offense during cold and flu season is a good defense. Drink plenty of liquids, get plenty of rest, and keep your hands sanitized. If a bug still manages to get you, Ashcraft Pharmacy, your local Health Mart pharmacy, has over-the-counter medications that can help. Or if you need a prescription, we offer free mail-out, free delivery, or call ahead for our handy curbside service. Go Salt Hawks! From Ashcraft Pharmacy in the Hart Shopping Center, South Hutchinson, and Health Mart, caring for you and about you forward always moving never stagnant together nothing great is ever accomplished without it at the insurance group we've been working side by side with our clients for more than a century together with individuals organizations and communities we look ahead to protect the people places and things they love we're the insurance group forward together Pools Plus is celebrating the end of 2020 with a winter wonderland. Instead of falling snow, look out, our prices are falling. Pools Plus's holiday sale is in full festive spirit starting now. All in-stock hot tubs and furniture is marked down. Come check out our new Artesian Spa Line. Buy a new hot tub today and you can be relaxing in your new hot tub by Christmas morning. Shop local, shop Pools Plus in downtown Hutchinson. Merry Christmas, everyone. Call us at Pools Plus. Hutchinson High School Sports is on the air thanks to these outstanding Salt Hawk boosters. Portfolio Recovery Associates of Hutchinson, Dr. Randy Smith of Appalachian Animal Hospital, the Wynn Insurance Group of Hutchinson, Summit Surgical, the Hutchinson Clinic, the Medicine Shop, and Jackson Me. Hutchinson High School and Eagle Radio Sports thank these Salt Hawk boosters for their continued support of Hutchinson High School Athletics.
Welcome back to Mays, Kansas. Glenn Grunwald, Dan Nacarado with you. As we're just a couple of minutes away from getting this third quarter underway. I want to remind everybody, the girls did not play tonight. Uh, they'll make up that game, and Dan, that'll be one of those games where we'll have a, a third girls game all the way through from freshman and JB. I uh, don't know when that's going to be made up. Don't doubt if it's between now and Christmas because we're pretty packed, but they could sneak in a Monday night game possibly. Who knows? When I was talking to Connor Riley, he said that's probably what they'll do. Uh, the Mays Eagle girls team had some quarantine issues, and they were not able to play Friday or tonight. Same thing happened to the Bueller boys. They uh, have been quarantined and were not able to play at Nickerson on Friday night. We're not able to play tonight at Salina South. And they will come to the sack on this Friday to face the Salt Hawks, and we're looking forward to that game. That's a fun, that's a fun uh, reinvigorated tradition for Hutchinson and Bueller to play each other. Yeah, good situation. I think Coach uh, Swanson's pleased with it. And of course, they have a new girls coach as well. Sierra... Mitchell Stetter. Yeah, Mitchell Stetter. Some of you know her as Sierra Radke. She played at Seward. She was all state player at Lions High School. Went to Seward and then to UMKC. And uh, she is now the head coach at Bueller High School. Taught PE at Morgan's High uh, Elementary School in Hutchison. Also was on John Andres' staff That's for right. a while before she had a baby. That's right. Man. She is a uh, teacher at. The sixth grade level, I believe, at Prairie Hills Middle School. Uh-huh. Delightful, delightful uh, young woman. All right. We're about set to get underway here in the third quarter of play. I think you're going to see Mays get the ball in to Jacob Hanna. Uh, he led them in scoring at halftime with, 20, with uh, 10 points. Most of his damage was done in that second quarter of action. All of it was done, actually, in that second quarter of action. Hutchinson did an outstanding job, of, for the most part, controlling the tempo of that first half. Mays likes to play fast. They like to get up and down the court. Hutchinson has the type team that wants to play a little bit more deliberate style of basketball, and Hutchinson, for the most part, controlled the tempo in the first half. Looks like it's going to be Mays basketball to start this second half of play. Alternating possession rule, and Bing will bring it up the court. We're underway in the third quarter. Glenn Grumwell, Dan Nacarado, we're at Mays High School. Hutchinson with a 31-26 lead as we start the third quarter of play, and we have a reach-in foul from outside. It's going to be charged against the Salthawks, and that'll be on Hoos, and that'll be his third. That's a tough, tough way to start the third quarter. Ten seconds in, Jake Hoos, the point guard for the Salthawks, picking up his third personal foul. And Lang will come in for him. Nick Lang will enter the contest wearing number 32. He's a sophomore, 6'4". Avery Johnson getting his start in this Second half, the feed down low, basket does not go, but a foul's called very quickly on Lang. He'll pick up the personal as the offensive player just backed into him, and Lang was over the shoulders. So Big Nick, he picks up his first personal. Second team foul of the ball game at the line will be Gustafson to shoot two, and he knocks that first one down. Gustafson, one of those players that just... Kind of a jack of all trades, does whatever needs to be done for his team to help them win. Last year he averaged six points and five rebounds a game. Free throw toss is up, and this one's missing. Rebound cleared out of there by Hutchison. As coming up with the rebound was Nick Lang. Hutch with the ball on the far side. Back down low, the feed inside. Shot up and good. Miles Thompson picks up right where he left off. 14 points for Thompson in his first outing as a salt hawk. That one, the jump hook, very, very uh, pretty shot. Back up by six, Hutch, 33-27. 7.14 to go in the third period. Drive left side all the way through. Bing, shot won't go. Rebound Thompson. Gets the ball off quickly to Robertson. Robertson splits two defenders, brings it down. Ball knocked away into the hands of a Mays player. Coming up with it, Gustafson. Nice job by Avery Johnson to knock that one away. There's a bad pass, and Hutch comes up with it. Lang gives it off to Robertson, and Robertson will bring it up. Now, a, this is where they're going to slow it down a little bit. That's right. That's right. Keep control of the tempo. Ball outside. Peterson, give it go underneath. Peterson, basket good. Look what I found on the back door is Trayton Peterson with six points on the night. That was a great give and go. 35-27 is your score. Hutch with the lead. The back door was open, and Trey Peterson went through it. You don't want to do that 
too much because it's low is going to be in the 30s. And a quick timeout is going to be, oh, 30-second timeout. We'll get a half-minute break in, 6.25 to go in the quarter, number three. Hutch up by 35-27. We'll be back in a half-minute. Hutchinson Community College and Blue Dragon Athletics are proud to support the Hutchinson Salthawks. Whether you're working towards your degree or are a busy working individual with limited time to attend class, HutchCC has what you're looking for. And for those still in high school, Hutchinson Community College's Step Ahead program provides a head start on a quality education, and it may not cost the student anything. Visit hutchcc.edu or call 888-GO-HUTCH for more details. And good luck this season to the Salthawks. Yeah, wasn't it the old partner, Denny Steckline, right there? He, he sounds good. And, uh, and he looks even better. He, 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 <laughs> he, he definitely should be the face and the voice of Hutchinson Community no College. No doubt about that. Of course, Hutchinson Community College, all the students now uh, taking a break, and uh, they're in remote learning uh, back till the after Thanksgiving to the end of Christmas. Here comes the inbound from Avery Johnson. Ball gets it into Bing. He's just about off balance. Nice job defensively by Hutchison, but they keep it alive. Here's Avery Johnson. He'll gun and hit. Avery Johnson with a three-pointer. Avery's a dangerous ball player. That's his first basket to make it 35-30. to Long pass down court. Ball knocked away. Last touched out of bounds off of Gustafson of Mays. We were introduced to Avery Johnson last year as a freshman. He came into the varsity football game and scored through a touchdown pass against Hutchinson's varsity. You don't see that very often at the 5 and 6 well, you know, level. Just look at him move. He's extremely athletic out there, very fluid. The ball comes in to Garrett Robertson. He'll set up the offense. Johnson wasn't able to play basketball last year due to a football injury he has sustained late in the season. Here's Garrett Robertson. Over to Peterson. He'll launch the three and hit it. Big three by Creighton Peterson. If he gets on track from outside, he can knock down trays. Five and a quarter for now for Peterson. The drive underneath by Hannah. Shot no good. Rebound cleared into the hands of Bing. He gets the offensive board. Johnson with a floater up and good. Avery Johnson now with five points in the quarter. 5.40 to go in his third period of play. Hutch lead is cut down to, to six now at 38-32. Bad pass and it was knocked away and Mays comes up with it. They have numbers. Gustafson left side Bing. He'll shoot the three and hit it. That was a case where Hutchinson allowed Mays to speed up the tempo and that's exactly what Mays wants. Quick timeout taken. Hutch still clinging to a three point lead at 38-35. 5.23 to go in the quarter number three. Dan and I'll be back with more from Mays, Kansas right after the 30 second timeout. Welcome to the Hutchinson Medicine Shop. With the emergence of big business, not only in pharmacy, but all industries, the Medicine Shop is proud to be a thriving local business in Hutchinson. We're so thankful to our customers in Hutchinson, Reno County, and Central Kansas for your support. In turn, we're proud to be a major sponsor of the Hutch High Salt Hawks, as well as other area high schools, the Blue Dragons, Chiefs, Royals, Jayhawks, and Wildcats. You support us, and the Hutchinson Medicine Shop supports Ports local sports. Five twenty-three to go in the third period of play. Hutchinson hanging on to a three-point lead. Inbounds the basketball. Pressure being put on by the Mays Eagles. Here's Trayton Peterson across the timeline. Angles to the right. Goes in and out of the hands and then ran down finally by Hutchinson's Montandon. Michael Montana gives it off. Trey Peterson back outside to Robert to uh, excuse me to Garrett Robertson. Mays back to a two-three zone. Robertson rolls off the pick set by Lang. A little give and go. He's in trouble. Robertson gets rid of the ball over in the corner. Montana and three ball. Yes. Why not, huh? Three pointer by Montana. He's in double figures now with ten. And Hutchinson lead is back at six, 41-35. He down low underneath Gus, Gus Thompson, takes it in, gets his own board. Ball blocked, but then a foul called. It's going to go on Hutchison. I think it's on Miles Thompson. If it's in the act of shooting, Mays will go to the line. Let's check the call. Nope, it's on Nick Lane. That'll be his second. So Lane with two fouls, Jake, who's the three? Hutchinson, a little bit of foul trouble, Dan. But Hutchinson still performing very well with a six-point lead. Free throws up and missing by... Gustafson, he'll shoot his second one. 4.40 to go in the third period. 
Hutchinson is four for four from the field in this third quarter. Free throw toss doesn't go. Rebound's going to be cleared out there by Peterson. Free throw shooting and Achilles heel for Mays. Jake Hoos was set to check back in. I think Brian Miller knows this is a critical part of the game right here with an opportunity maybe to be able to take a commanding lead. Here's Robertson, left side. Ball slips out of the hands of Montana and runs it down back outside Robertson. Over in the right wing. They'll hold it high outside Trayton Peterson. Very content on offense. Trayton Peterson jumps one up and rock no good. Comes off the front end of the iron. Rebound cleared out by Mays. Mays goes the other way. The layup not there, but a foul called on Hutchinson. Be the second foul whistled against Micah Montandon. Fourth team foul of the second half. Right now, Mays is just four of ten from the free throw line. It's really costing them to miss these charity shots. And we talked about it on our way over here. Is Brian's slowing it down a little bit. Brian Miller, the first-year head coach, free throw is up and good by Hannah. He has 11. And Hutchinson's slowing it down, and Mays is trying to speed it up. Excellent game plan. And so far, Hutchinson has been executing their game plan better than Mays. 41-36, Hutch with the lead by five. Hannah, free throw toss. This one is good as well. So he's got both of them down. He has 12, and he leads Mays in scoring. 3.57 to go in this third period to play. Hutchinson lead now at four. Here's Miles Thompson underneath. Loops the shot up and good by Montenden. Five points in the quarter. He has 12 for the game. Thompson leads the scoring for Hutchinson with 14. In both the JV game and the varsity game, Hutchinson shows they're well prepared. Stolen by Thompson. Just flat took it away. And Thompson will bring it down and lay it up and score it. Thompson now with two baskets in the quarter. He has 16 for the ball game. Take that steal and take it all the way down. Nice job right there. As Belcher just lost control of the basketball. This 45-37 Hutch. Belcher kicks it back outside. Jumper up and on his way. The three-pointer is good by Herod. Herod with all his points coming from outside the arc. He has nine total, Dan. He can shoot the bar rock from outside. He cuts that lead down to 45-40. Hutch lead. And ball with 3-2-59 to go in the third period. Nice shooter from outside. Here's Robertson. He's capable of knocking one down from outside. Who's is in there with three fouls? He comes all the way through, but they say he stepped out of bounds. It'll be Mays Eagle basketball with 2.46 to go in his third period of play. Tenth turnover committed by Hutchinson, but believe it or not, that's not too bad when you look at how Mays forced Dodge City into about 27 turnovers on Friday night. Ball on the outside. Avery Johnson gathers it in. Underneath the go. Basket up and good by Jacob Hanna. He saw Hanna coming across the lane. Hanna with four points in the quarter, 14 for the game. The lead 45 42 for Hutchison. In traffic, Garrett Robertson. Ball knocked over in the hands. It goes down on the floor. Thompson lost it for a second. Now there's a trying to come up with it, and timeout's going to be taken by Mays as they got the timeout taken. And we'll have the basketball. A quick 30-second break. We'll get one in. 2.12 to go in a quarter. We're a lead of Hutchison 45-42 over Mays. We'll be back in a half minute. Get the latest news, weather, and sports in one place. Hutchpost.com. It's your one-stop news source powered by Eagle Radio. Plus, play fun contests. Save with big deals of Central Kansas. Get the latest ag news, daily obituaries. Keep tabs on your favorite sports teams, including the Salt Hawks and Blue Dragons. And be sure to sign up for the Hutch Post Morning News in your inbox. 24 hours a day, get news when you want it at HutchPost.com. Twelve to go in the ball game in the third period of play. Hutchinson with a three-point lead at 45 to 42. Coach yeah. Brian Miller showing some fantastic preparation in his first year as a high school coach. He assisted Steve Eck at Hutchinson Community College last year. Before that, he was the head coach at Butler Community College for four years, and he is a Salt Hawk graduate, class of 1997. Ball on the outer perimeter with the basketball. Kyle Grills back in there. Goes left side over to Hannah. 
Now they reverse it to the right side. Grill will pop it on his way and hit it. Big three by Grill. He has eight points in the ball game, two trays in this third period. We're tied at 45 all and a reach in called at half court. I think it's going to be on Avery Johnson. He'll pick up his first. This is the first foul of the second half committed by Mays. Minute and 44 to go in his third period of play. We're hot, tied up at 45 apiece. Mays is back to a 2-3 zone. That's led by five at halftime. So Mays has erased that lead that Hutchison had. Garrett Robertson, right side Hoos, has a step, goes all the way through and throws the ball away, but they say it was last touched off the hands of a Mays player. Mays changes defenses as frequently as any team Hutchinson will face. Garrett Robertson will key in the inbounds pass with a minute and 31 to go. Ball comes out to Peterson. Trayton gives it up. On Tandon, back outside, Hoos will set up at that point guard spot. Over to Robertson. Drives off the pick, set by Miles Thompson. Over to the right wing. Montandon brings it out on the dribble. Gets in the hands of Robertson. Hutch slowing it down a little bit. Here's Hoos. Holds up. Montandon right side. Got to be patient. Feed inside. Miles Thompson. Ball knocked from behind. No call made. And we go down the other way. I really think there could have been a push from behind. Here's a shot from outside. A three-pointer won't go. Put back is by Grill. Is up and good. And just like that. Mays has taken the lead at 47-45. Ball comes in to Miles Thompson. He'll drive it in, lays it up, rims around, it comes out on him, no good. Rebound's going to be cleared out of there by the Mays Eagles. They're trying to run with it again and try to lengthen the floor a little bit. Grill has it, rolls left, drives in, kicks it back outside. Belcher shot on his way, good. Mason Belcher with his fifth point of the night. And all of a sudden, it's 49-45. A nice little run here by the, the Mays Eagles with 21 seconds to go in the third quarter of play. Every time Mays scores, it gives them the opportunity to set up their full court press and speed up the tempo. Ball on the outside. Flash into Peterson. He'll gun it on his way and hit it. Trayton Peterson. Seven points in the quarter. 11 for the game. One second to go. Ball thrown off. The last second shot does not go, and it's a two-point lead for the Mays Eagles at the end of three with your score, 49-47. to Hutchison had the lead for most of the game, but lost it in the waning seconds here of the third quarter. Go down by two as we head to the fourth quarter play. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more from Mays, Kansas, right after this one-minute timeout. It's time to finish your taxes. Whether we filed your extension or not, bring your tax information to H&R Block and let our tax professionals ensure you get every deduction and credit you deserve. And our offices in Hutchinson, Lyons, and Ellsworth are open to assist you. Don't wait to file your tax return and risk penalties for missing the deadline. Make an appointment now and put our expertise to work for you. Hutchinson High School Sports is on the air thanks to these outstanding Salt Hawk boosters. Portfolio Recovery Associates of Hutchinson, Dr. Randy Smith of Appalachian Animal Hospital, the Wynn Insurance Group of Hutchinson, Summit Surgical, the Hutchinson Clinic, the Medicine Shop, and Jackson Me. Hutchinson High School and Eagle Radio Sports thank these Salt Hawk boosters for their continued support of Hutchinson High School Athletics. Glenn Grunwald along with Dan Nacarano. Glad to have you along on KWBW Hutchinson, Kansas. As Hutchinson heads to the fourth quarter of play, trailing it by two to the Mays Eagles, 49-47. Hutch High fans, here's your chance to support Salt Hawk, even if you can't be at the game in person. Join a booster club in supporting our student athletes for $25 uh, to be at the first game. Uh, again, don't forget to get that uh, booster club money substituted. Plus, you can also get... A fat head and have it at the game right behind Dan and I for 25 bucks. Go online to check it out with the Salt Hawk Booster Club. Go to their Facebook page and tell you all about it. Ball comes out high now. They go to Miles Thompson. He'll spin it in, puts it up, and can't finish. Rebound's going to be cleared out of there. Gustafson comes up with the rebound. Nice idea, my Miles. It would have tied it up, but ball came off the rim awkwardly. Gustafson was able to get the rebound. 
Ball nearly stolen away, and Hudson will steal it. Peterson goes high to come up with it, and then they call the travel call as he fell down. Went up high, and his feet came out from underneath him. Great wide receiver this year at football. Peterson and Thompson certainly made a positive impact on Hutchinson Salt Rock football. 7.28 to go in this fourth quarter of play. Two-point ball game lead for Mays, 49-47. Buck outside, Bing. Gets who's up in the air, and guy goes out top again this time to Herod. Herod shoots it on its way and doesn't get it. Miles Thompson with the rebound. Gets the ball out to Hoos and has to bring it up. One minute gone in this fourth quarter play. 7.05 to be exact. Man-to-man defense this trip. That's down by two. Here's Garrett Robertson. Ball knocked into the air. Lots of bodies after it. Coming up with a will be Mays, and they'll get it and bring it up. Avery Johnson. Controls the court, brings it up, loose one up on its way. No good. Ball knocked away. Ran down by Peterson. Nice save, but they're going to say it's off of him out of bounds. Heck of an effort to try to save the ball in bounds. Avery Johnson attempted to draw the foul on the shot. Nice discipline by Hutchinson to avoid committing the foul. So inbounding now will be the Mays Eagles. They'll kick it back to Grill and Kyle Grill. And set it up. Kyle Jr., of course, his brother playing for UNLV. Ball comes out, shot up and good by Grill. Grill knocks down another one. And all of a sudden, it is 52 to 47. The three pointer by Grill, that's his third. Ball right side. Wanton back outside, left side of Hoos. Over to Peterson. He'll shoot the three and hit it. Well, if we can get production like that out of Peterson, it's going to be nice this year. 52-50, the lead is cut to two by Mays. The three-pointer back the other well by Kyle Grill answers it. As he answers Peterson's tray, and all of a sudden it's 55-50. Mays with the lead. Shot inside by Miles Thompson. Not there. Rebound's going to be cleared out there. Here comes Grill. Grill on the drive. Over to Bing. Bing for three from the right side. It's not any good. Rebound fought for into the maze hands. They'll go up for the shot, and drawing the foul will be Jacob Hanna. And Hutchison not blocking out and getting the rebound like they need to. Will send Hanna to the line. Fourth foul committed by Jake Hoos. So they're going to have to set Jake for a while. Lang's going to come in. And that's something Hutchison is going to need. They're going to need their floor leader this year, Jake, who's out on the court. Free throws up and good by Hannah. 15 points for Hannah now, his first free throw in the fourth quarter. And it's going to be time out taken. One more free throw coming the way of Hannah when we return. 5.40 to go in the fourth quarter of play. Touchdown by six. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Need to send someone money? Pay a babysitter? Split the bill? Use First Pay. It is the person-to-person payment option located right inside your online banking app. There is no need to download an additional application. It is simple, safe, and secure. We're first for you. Visit fnbhutch.bank to learn more or click on your First National Bank app to get started. You can also stop into a location nearest you, and we're happy to help. First National Bank of Hutchison, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Glenn Grumwald along with Dan Nacarano. We're in Mays, Kansas. It's 56-50. Mays with the lead by six. And Hutchinson had held that lead for most of the ball game. We were tied at 13 at the end of one. Hutch had a 31-26 five-point lead at halftime. Led it by two at the end of... Oh, actually, Mays led by two at the end of the third quarter of play. But right now, down by two possessions... With a free throw coming already again for Jacob Hanna, who has just been outstanding tonight. No matter what happens, the remaining five minutes, 40 seconds in regulation of this basketball game, anyone watching or listening, I'm sure realizes Hutchinson is exceeding expectations for how they're competing the first game of the 2021 season. What are we going to do when we're going to have two games a night to work? It'll be just twice as much fun. <laughs> Oh, the cup is always half full for Dan Nacarado, Coach Nack, as he's known by. Okay, she's getting set as Jacob Hanna, the senior, six foot four inch senior. Free throws, tosses up and good. So he got both of them. 
Yeah, the, the tough thing, when Mays makes a free throw, they can set up their full court trap. 16 points now for Hannah. 57-50. The lead is 7 for the Mays Eagles. Robertson brings it up. Left side over to Montandon. Right side now to Peterson. He knocked down a three a little bit earlier on. He'll kick it back outside. Moss Thompson comes out to greet the ball, but it, Montandon keeps it alive. Here they'll weave it. 5.13 to go in the fourth quarter of play. Garrett Robertson, left side, gets double team. Double team trap, gets the ball out, and the foul called. That's only the second team foul against Mays in the half. And Herod will pick up the personal. That'll be his first. Mays stays man to man. Montandon will inbound. Ball comes in quickly to Garrett Robertson. Gives it off quickly. Now to Lang. Back outside. Robertson reverses field. Goes right side with it. Drives it all the way through. Gives it off to Peterson. Back outside. Miles Thompson finds the seam. Takes it inside and draws the foul. High school basketball. The team that attacks the goal usually gets rewarded with free throws. Grill will pick up his second. He's really hurt the Sawhawks in this fourth quarter with a couple of trays. Free throws up and good by Miles Thompson. First basket for Miles, or point that is, in the fourth quarter. 17 for the game. Mm-hmm. Honorable mention on uh, the Vipes All-State list as a quarterback. Shot up missing. Good job by Peterson to keep it alive. But Thompson gets another opportunity. That's Will. They're driving in Peterson. Basket good. I tell you what, the kid's a ball player. That drive right there is just, you can't hardly stop it. And Peterson now with 16 points. Lee kept the four. Good outside shooter as well as the capability of slashing to the rim. 57-53. Mays with the lead in the basketball. 4.28 to go in this fourth quarter of play. Grill drives in. Loops up one. Not there. Put back is good. The follow by Jacob Hanna was huge. Only his second basket of the second half, but it goes with a lot of free throws as well. He led all scores for Mays with 10 points at halftime. He has 18 in the game. Clock nearing the four-minute mark. Miles Thompson with the ball on the outside. Robertson's three ball comes off the iron. No good. Rebound cleared by Miles Thompson. Offensive variety. He'll take it in. Loops it up. Shortens the shot. Not there. Loose ball. Still loose on the floor. They die for it. Picked up by Mays. They have numbers. Here comes Hannah. Hannah has it stripped away and a foul called. Gonna be the third foul committed by Micah Montandon. Montandon picks up the personal. That came from being a difference of four to being the sixth team foul and sending Hannah to the line. Coach Brian Miller is going to go ahead and bring Jake Hoos back into the game with his four fouls. Rolling the dice a little bit. Impressed with Jacob Hanna. Free throw toss is up and no, it is good. It rolled around and started to come out and talked its way down. That is five free throws in the second half for Hanna. He's now made six in a row. 344 to go in the contest. It's a seven point lead for Mays. Free throw toss up and missing. Rebound cleared by the Salt Hawks as Thompson gets the rebound. He'll angle to the right side, back out top again. Here's Trayton Peterson. Surveys the defense. Puts it on the floor on a dribble, gives it off to Hoos. Jake Hoos to the right side. Here goes Peterson. Feed down low underneath. Thompson kicks it outside. Opportunity from Montana and doesn't go. Ball knocked away. Peterson bumped a little bit, nothing called. But he has the basketball, gives it off to Hoos. He'll knife it inside, kicks the corner left. Montandon for three, comes off no good. The battle for the board, and Hannah comes out with it for the Mays Eagles. A seven-point lead with 3.02 remaining to go in every possession. Then there's a throwaway, and a ball will go over to the Salt Hawks. So a big key turnover there, Dan Nacarado, with 2.59 to go in the contest. It's a seven-point difference at 60-53. Hutch with an opportunity. Hutchinson. Had a very disciplined possession on that last one. The shot just didn't go in. The concern about the slowdown offense is you're down by seven. 
you need to score. Here's a drive by Hoos. Comes all the way to the left side. Peels off. Comes back outside. He'll set it up. The drops the pass down low to Thompson. Lots of traffic. Kicks it back outside. Here it goes into Garrett Robertson's hands. There's Hoos. Outside, Trayton Peterson for three. Doesn't go. Battle for the board. Miles Thompson puts it on his way and misses it. Kicks it back outside. Garrett Robertson. Another possession for a Hutch. The drive by Hoos. He'll shoot and miss. Rebo bound comes out, and here comes Mays with the basketball. They'll bring it down with 2.18 to go. Three three opportunities to score for Hutchinson mm. on that possession. Just couldn't get the shots to fall. Hutchinson with the trails, a deficit of seven points. Mays 60, Hutchinson 57. Mays basketball with 2.05 to go. Now Mays is going to spread it out and run a little bit of clock. Grill backs it up. Why not? minute and 56 to go. The problem is Mays is not a very good free-throw shooting team. There's a block with a foul called on the block. Montanan will pick up the foul. That'll be his fourth. It'll be in the act of shooting. Avery Johnson will go to the line to shoot the free-throw. We're going to get a timeout taken by the Salt Hawks of Hutch. So Brian Miller wants a timeout with a minute and 50 to go. Hutchison down by seven. Mays shooting free-throws will return right after this 30-second timeout. Basketballs are bouncing and crowds are cheering. Your best offense during cold and flu season is a good defense. Drink plenty of liquids, get plenty of rest, and keep your hands sanitized. If a bug still manages to get you, Ashcraft Pharmacy, your local Health Mart pharmacy, has over-the-counter medications that can help. Or if you need a prescription, we offer free mail-out, free delivery, or call ahead for our handy curbside service. Go Salt Hawks! From Ashcraft Pharmacy in the Hart Shopping Center, South Hutchinson, and Health Mart, caring for you and about you. Welcome back to Mays, Kansas. Glenn Drummond, Dan Nacarano, 60-57. Mays with the lead by seven points. In this fourth quarter of play, Hutchison had led to just about through the third period, gave up the lead to Mays, 49-47 to at the end of three quarters of play. But then, boy, did uh, Jacob Hanna ever take over at the free throw line here in the fourth quarter, hitting three free throws along with a basket, and then including Kyle Grill with two trays to his credit. And uh, they just, right now, things are going their way. Clock stop with a minute and 50 to go. I believe Hutchinson only has one timeout left, so they're going to need a little bit of help from Mays with missed free throws. Doing a nice job here, Dan, at Mays by spreading out the chairs for the players. It's not a straight-line bench like we're used to. They're staggering them all the way back. Free throws up and good by Avery Johnson on the free throw. I think Kevin Armstrong said that Hutchinson will do the same thing on that west, the west side bleachers, you bet. Free throws up and missing. Rebound Peterson, 61-53. Hutchison basketball trailing it by a eight-point margin. Hoos to the right side to Garrett Robertson. Rolls off the pitch, set by Thompson. Back on the right side. Drive underneath. Hoos wraps it around. Doesn't get it to go, but he will draw the foul. And he'll step to the line to shoot the free throw. Foul's going to be charged against Belcher. He'll pick up his second. No one on Mays in any kind of foul trouble whatsoever. Hutchinson, Jake Hoos, and Micah Montandon each have four fouls. Hutchinson playing this ranked number four in 5A preseason Mays Eagles. Free throw by Hoos is up and missing. Playing it pretty tough. Hoos with five points in the ball game, trying to score in the second half. He has not yet. Now free throw's up and good. There he bags it. Six points together for Hoos. Substitutions come in. This is where Hutchinson might consider a sub for Jay Coos to foul on this defensive possession. Minute and 35 to go. 61 54. Hutchinson down by seven. Jake's going to stay on the floor. They'll double team in the corner. Just about a loose ball. Avery Johnson gets it out to Bing. They'll pass it up to court quickly to Herod. And a reach around foul is going to be called. And fouling is going to be Montana. That, and that'll be his fifth. That's his fifth. And that. Uh, Finishes the, game with, in the bonus. finishes the game with 12 points with a minute and 26 to go. Have they beat him yet? Oh. Horned him? They have not. That's where 
when it's late in the game and your team is behind, if you have some players in the game with foul trouble, it's not a bad idea to substitute for them to, to let someone else commit the foul that you know is probably going to have to occur. Well, Sullivan's going to check in. Kellen O'Sullivan, six foot three inch sophomore. At the line will be Keegan Herod. He's a senior, had ten points against Dodge City. Free throw toss here is up and good. So Herod will shoot another one. Ten points, double figures for him tonight. 63-54, the lead, a eight-point lead now for the Mays Eagles. They make a nine as Keegan Herod knocks down both. Mays has been very efficient from the free throw line in this fourth quarter when the game is on the line. Three-possession game, a nine-point Mays lead as they give off to Thompson. His basket's good. And a quick timeout in the last will be taken for Hutchinson. First basket of the quarter for Miles Thompson. 17 points for him tonight, I believe. No, more than that, 19 points for Thompson. We're going to keep it here with a, with just a, about a minute remaining to go in the contest, a minute and 13. Hutchison down 63-56. Good outing for Hutchison. Led at halftime. And uh, Dan uh, just kind of slipped away a little bit right at the tail end of the third quarter of play. Still not over, but a good effort by the Salthawks tonight which we'll talk with Coach on the post game, but uh, they take on Bueller coming up this Friday. Hutchinson controlled the tempo in the second quarter and got rewarded for it by going into the locker room with a 31-26 lead. Towards the second part of the third quarter, the last four minutes or so of the third quarter, Mays was able to pick up the pace and speed up Hutchinson. That was to the advantage of the Mays Eagles, who now lead it 63-56 with a minute 13 to play. Again, next action will be on uh, Friday night at the Salt Hawk Activity Center with the actions of the Kansas State High School Activity Association Board of Directors today to allow two tickets per participant family, meaning that's going to be a guardian or a parent. Two per participant will be what they will be allowed, and those will be allocated by the school. And that will be for the Hutchison participants and here we go Mays will get set the inbound with a minute and 13 to go leading 63-56 ball comes in and they give it up quickly now to Grill at half court bing and a quick foul called Hutchison knows they've got a foul they're going to foul they're going to get the foul called on Peterson he'll pick up the personal I'll be only his second and we'll walk down and shoot free throws with Bing going to the line Still a one-and-one situation. That's the ninth team foul committed by Hutchinson. Bing takes his time. Free throw toss is up and comes off no good. Here's Hoos. He'll bring it up quickly. Hutchinson has an opportunity now to score. With the ball in the hands, feed down low offensive foul called, foul called on Peterson. He dropped that head a little bit. Whenever you do that, picks up the offensive foul with a minute remaining. You know, you hit that little layup right there, and things look a little bit different, don't you think? Could have made things interesting now. Mays can go deep for the touchdown here because Hutchinson did not have a basket protector, but they chose to just throw it in short, and Hutchinson fouled. Quick reach in foul is going to be charged. It's going to go against O'Sullivan. Check that. It's going to be on Robertson. That'll be his second. Just under 59 point, right at 59.2, just under a minute remaining to go in the ball game. It's 63-56. Mays, free throw toss is up and good by Belcher. Six points for him tonight. And Mays pulling everybody back now. Belcher at the line to shoot the second one. And he hits it, 65-56. A nine-point lead. Now Hutch touches the ball, and the clock will start. 57 seconds to go before the end of the game. The feed inside to Thompson. It goes up, has a batter from behind, gets it back, puts it up, and scores. Thompson with a great night. 
Six points in the quarter, ten and a half. Twenty-two points for the ball game, and the ball knocked away. It'll be last touch by the Southhawks. And the Eagles are going to take a full timeout. We'll get a full minute break in as well. 65-58, Hutchinson down by seven. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Forward, always moving, never stagnant. Together, nothing great is ever accomplished without it. At Fee Insurance Group, we've been working side by side with our clients for more than a century. Together with individuals, organizations, and communities, we look ahead to protect the people, places, and things they love. We're Fee Insurance Group. Forward, together. Pools Plus is celebrating the end of 2020 with a winter wonderland. Instead of falling snow, look out, our prices are falling. Pools Plus's holiday sale is in full festive spirit starting now. All in-stock hot tubs and furniture is marked down. Come check out our new Artesian Spa Line. Buy a new hot tub today and you can be relaxing in your new hot tub by Christmas morning. Shop local, shop Pools Plus in downtown Hutchinson. Merry Christmas, everyone. Call us at Pools Plus. seconds to go in the contest, 65-58, Mays with the lead. Right now it looks like Mays is going to pull away and win this ball game, but not without a good effort by the Sawhawks of Hutchison. Again, Mays can send someone deep for the touchdown if they want to. They'll go with the inbound, and that's what they're going to do. Avery Johnson spins out, but they get it into the hands of Hannah. He'll sprint it all the way down, and he'll be fouled by Miles Thompson. And shooting free throws will be Hannah. So picking up the personal will be Miles Thompson. That will be his second. When the defense guards the inbounds passer and has no one in the backcourt to keep the deep pass from happening, it opens up a lot of things for the Free offense. throw by Hannah is up and good, and I've just about ran out of space for that kid. He's played well tonight. At 14 coming into the quarter, and he has scored six points here. So 20 points for Hannah tonight. Mays was 10 out of 12 from the free throw line at Dodd City on Friday night. Free throw toss is good. Got both of them. And uh, they started off cold from the line in the first half tonight, but shot it well in the second half. 35 seconds to go. Three-pointer by Sullivan knocks down the three. And a quick foul is going to be called on Miles Thompson. That'll be his third. We'll walk down the other way and shoot three throws with 28.4 seconds to go. 67-61. Mays with the lead, and Grill will step to the line to shoot the free throw. Right now, the exact same score is on January 7, 2020. That game ended up 67-61. Mays. Grill takes his time. Free throw toss is up and good. Nothing but net for Kyle Grill. First trip to the line tonight for him. He had two at halftime. He really has lit it up in the second half with four trays, including an, a deuce mixed in between there, plus a free throw. I make that two free throws. Eighteen points for the ball game now. 69-61. The lead is eight. For the Mays Eagles, 20 seconds to go. A three-pointer by Peterson, corner left, it is off no good. And the rebound is going to be cleared, and a jump ball is going to be called. Which way the possession will, it will be Mays' direction. So Mays will have the basketball with 14 seconds to go, leading it by eight at 69 to 61. The Mays substitutes. Bing's back in there. Long pass down court, grabbed by Hannah. He'll take it, and Peterson will come out and defend on him. Now they come all the way down, and a quick foul call. And Brian Miller had no sooner said no foul, and <laughs> so Sullivan picks up the first. Well, obviously, his first. It's kind of like when a coach yells, "No shots!" and mm-hmm. immediately someone launches a three. Same type principle. Hannah will go to the free throw line with 8.6 seconds remaining. Stay tuned. We'll talk with Brian Miller after the ball game. He'll take a quick trip to the locker room and then come back we'll give you the medicine shop in game capsule directly after the contest after we take a little break free throws up and missing by Hannah 
Second one misses as well. So Hutch will come down. Opportunity to do something here. Hoos loses the ball. It's whipped down to Hannah. Wide open. He'll go jam time, and he misses it <laughs> at the buzzer in your final score. Mays Eagles 69, the Salthawks 61. A difference eight points, and uh, they got it done in the fourth quarter when they needed to. And the Mays Eagles come away with a victory, 69 to 61. So Hutchinson will prepare for Bueller. That will be the opponent on Friday night at the Salt Hawk Activity Center. We'll take a two-minute timeout, add up all the numbers. 69-61, Mays the winner after they rallied back in that third period of play to come away a winner by 8, 69 to 61. Dan and I'll be back in two minutes. Hutchinson High School Sports is on the air thanks to these outstanding Salt Hawk boosters. Portfolio Recovery Associates of Hutchinson, Dr. Randy Smith of Appalachian Animal Hospital, the Wynn Insurance Group of Hutchinson, Summit Surgical, the Hutchinson Clinic, the Medicine Shop, and Jackson Me. Hutchinson High School and Eagle Radio Sports thank these Salt Hawk boosters for their continued support of Hutchinson High School Athletics. Hutchinson Community College and Blue Dragon Athletics are proud to support the Hutchinson Salt Hawks. Whether you're working towards your degree or are a busy working individual with limited time to attend class, HCC has what you're looking for. And for those still in high school, Hutchinson Community College's Step Ahead program provides a head start on a quality education, and it may not cost the student anything. Visit hutchcc.edu or call 888-GO-HUTCH for more details. And good luck this season to the Salt Hawks. The medicine shop, the medicine shop, when you drop your prescriptions off, the personal care you'll find there will make you feel all better. The medicine Delivered with speed, the lowest price is guaranteed. Get your prescriptions with no hassle at 14th and Main at the Little White Castle. You'll feel all better at the medicine shop. Get the latest news, weather, and sports in one place. Hutchpost.com. It's your one-stop news source powered by Eagle Radio. Plus, play fun contests. Save with big deals of Central Kansas. Get the latest ag news, daily obituaries. Keep tabs on your favorite sports teams, including the Salt Hawks and Blue Dragons. And be sure to sign up for the Hutch Post Morning News in your inbox. 24 hours a day, get news when you want it at HutchPost.com. Welcome back to Mays, Kansas. Again, your final 69-61. Mays, the winner. For varsity and three games tonight, freshman of Hutchison won 86 to 26. That's right, 86 26. In freshman ball, the JV team won by five, 52 47. But the varsity falling to defeat 69 61 at the hands of the Mays Eagles. And a good effort by the Sawhawk boys, as we'll add up all the numbers. It's time for the Medicine Shop in game capsule. Brought to you by that little White Castle, 14th of Maine, 1401 North Maine. They deliver. They'll also plug your, your medication in, tell you what the best uh, insurance program is for you. Now, we're past that December 7th uh, date for uh, your uh, Medicare Part D, but still, they'll be able to tell what uh, would be best. Maybe uh, if you need to switch when the time comes to be able to switch, they'll do it for you. Don't forget the flu shots. they got the heavy-duty dose as well in. There's what Rick indicated. They've got some great over-the-counter products. And don't forget the CBD oils that they have. Great selection of CBD oils that will help you get through those aches and pains. And also, if you're having trouble sleeping as well, they got some great CBD oil products that can make things happen. A pretty good night for the Salt Hawk boys in the middle is Miles Thompson, coming off a great seller football season, was able to put up some nice points tonight. Dan, what, as you add them up, what, else, what do you see from the Salt Hawk scoring as well as the Mays high scoring as well? Just finishing up, tabulating the numbers, and it looks like... Uh, you want to go ahead and go to Brian first? No, go ahead with the scoring really quick. Okay, for the uh, Mays Eagles, we have 11 points for Keegan Herod, 15 points Kyle Grill, 6 points Avery Johnson, leading all scores tonight, 22 points Jacob Hanna, 5 points Winston Bing, Mason Belcher with 7, Jaden 
Gustafson with uh, four points. Mays was 18 of 30 from the free throw line, and they made nine three-point baskets tonight. For the Hutchinson Saltox tonight, Trayton Peterson scored 16 points. Jake Hoos with six. Micah Montandon scored 12. Garrett Robertson with a three-point basket. Miles Thompson, 21 points tonight in his Saltox basketball debut. Three points for Kellen O'Sullivan. The Mays Eagles win this one tonight in a good outing from the uh, Hutchinson Saltawks. Mays comes out on top, though, 69-61. It's going to wrap up the medicine shop uh, post-game capsule. We're going to take a break. We'll get back in the coach's show as uh, Coach uh, Miller is here. We'll be back with more coming your way from Mays, Kansas, right after this. You've been listening to Hutchinson Salt Ox Sports on BW Radio. Our broadcast was brought to you in part by Ashcraft Pharmacy, the Insurance Group, Pools Plus, and the Hutch CC Business Office. Salt Ox Sports is also brought to you by the Salt Ox Boosters, Portfolio Recovery Associates, Apple Lane Animal Hospital, Edward Jones Financial Advisor, William Thacker, and the Hutchinson Clinic. Stay tuned. Our coaches show is next on BW Radio. Get the latest news, weather, and sports in one place. HutchPost.com. It's your one-stop news source powered by Eagle Radio. Plus, play fun contests. Save with big deals of Central Kansas. Get the latest ag news, daily obituaries. Keep tabs on your favorite sports teams, including the Salt Hawks and Blue Dragons. And be sure to sign up for the Hutch Post Morning News in your inbox. 24 hours a day, get news when you want it at HutchPost.com. It's time for the Coaches Show on BW Radio. A look back at tonight's game and a peek into the next action. The Coaches Show brought to you by The Medicine Shop. Our chat with head coach is next after this timeout on KWBW. The Medicine Shop, The Medicine Shop. When you drop your prescriptions off, the personal care you'll find there will make you feel all better. The meds you need, delivered with speed, the lowest. Well, welcome back again to Mays, Kansas. Glenn Grunwald along with Brian Miller now. And, Coach, uh, we held them pretty tight there for about three quarters. We're down by two going into the fourth quarter of play. But uh, then they sped it up, and uh, and uh, they got hot from outside, and that was all she wrote. Yeah, we didn't we didn't have a very good third quarter. You know, I, th- I thought our guys played really hard. I thought they did a good job tonight. Um, you know, we just we just had those lapses. You know, we're just, uh, you know, not to slight our guys, but we're just not tough enough yet to win that type of a ball game. Uh, but we will be. We'll get there, and we're getting better. Um, but it's just uh, it's good for us to just get out here and and get uh, get some game rep, and uh, and kind of see where we're at. And uh, now we have a little bit of leverage going into practice tomorrow. Yeah, three seniors with uh, some good double figure points, with uh, led by Miles Thompson with 21 and 16 and 12 from uh, uh, Peterson, along with uh, Montanda. And that's a, that's a good numbers to be put up for your first night out. Yeah, I thought those guys did a good job, and and, and Miles is really skilled. He can score the ball inside, outside, and he does a good job of, of, of rebounding the ball, busting it out. He had some really nice outlet passes. You know, looked like a quarterback out there tonight. Um, so I was I was pleased with that. Um, there, there's a few times though that press the issue, you know. But good players just want to, you know, want to make plays and want to, you know, do things for their team. And and we'll go back and watch the film. And and uh, and and you know, we just had to slow down a little bit. You're right, we we got sped up. And and I thought we didn't do a very good job of, of getting into our stuff in, the, in in that third quarter. And they went to a zone and they, they kind of trapped us a little bit out of the ball screen. But it wasn't a great trap. We just kind of got a little rattled in it. Didn't get the ball reversed. And you know the difference between I think the first you know two quarters versus that third quarter is the ball played side to side those mm-hmm. first two quarters and we were really driving it and playing drive and kick and moving it and playing how we're supposed to play, and then we just we stalled out. You know they sat in that zone and 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 we didn't you know we didn't get a good job of of, of getting in the paint and making those paint touches. But um, you know uh, you live and learn. Maybe through three quarters, I kind of looked at it and said, you let the game come to you pretty good. And then all of a sudden, like you said, uh, they were able to speed yeah. it up, got some big trays from outside, Cobb Grill, yeah. two trays in the third, hey. two in the fourth, uh, uh, kind of did it uh, in. And uh, Avery Johnson with a good second half as well, kind of yeah. was a difference. Yeah, we, we let guys be too comfortable on the perimeter in the second half. I think we got a little tired and... And, uh, you know, maybe I should have subbed a little deeper. But, you know, just you, you can guard the basketball and you can mirror the ball without being tight to the basketball.
basketball and our hands were down and, and, and we'll show them tomorrow when we go watch film and, and those are just subtle adjustments that we make but you know that little game slippage is what costs us the game and we're, we're in a tight game like that and and, uh, and they come down and they get the momentum with the alley oops and, and, and we kind of you know stole a possession at the end of the half but that carried over into, into, into the third quarter. I told them I said listen uh, you know they're going to speed this game up you're going to get a healthy dose of of, of post touches and flashes and, and that's what happened and then we collapsed on the ball and and, and those guys got wide open rhythm looks and mm-hmm. we talked about that in the scout that we couldn't give you know Bing and Herod and Grill and Grill's not a great shooter um, but but he's a, he, he can make an open shot uh, and those guys got horse shots in the third and fourth quarter and we just we just weren't there to uh, on the catch. We're going to take a quick time out. Come back and talk about the Brewer Crusaders who come to the Saltbox Activity Center this Friday. We'll be back with more right after this. Welcome to the Hutchinson Medicine Shop. With the emergence of big business, not only in pharmacy, but all industries, the Medicine Shop is proud to be a thriving local business in Hutchinson. We're so thankful to our customers in Hutchinson, Reno County, and Central Kansas for your support. In turn, we're proud to be a major sponsor of the Hutch High Salt Hawks, as well as other area high schools, the Blue Dragons, Chiefs, Royals, Jayhawks, and Wildcats. You support us, and the Hutchinson Medicine Shop supports local sports. Welcome back uh, again to Mays, Kansas, chatting with Brian Miller after a tough loss, 69-61 at the hands of the Mays Eagles. And Hutchison had a halftime lead of 31-26, let it slip away in the second half of play. Coach, we turn around and we take on the Brewer Crusaders, and we'll be back at home on uh, at the sack and uh, excited to be back home. That's our only home game we have right before Christmas. <laughs> and isn't that strange when you look at it? I don't it, know who did that schedule. Yeah, who did that schedule? Uh, well, anyway, did, but uh, you guys got uh, just a few days to, to react now. They have not played due to the fact that they've had the COVID breakout, so their their first game will be against the Sawhawks. Yeah. You know, they're a good team, got a good coach. You know, uh, Max Max is a heck of a player. Max Alexander, he's a heck of a heck of a player and you know, he can he can go out and, you know, drop thirty any night. So we're gonna have to be going doing a good job on them. You know the the hard part is, is we don't really have any film on those guys this year, so I'm going to have to kind of dig deep into last year's film and just, you know, maybe talk to the guy who played there last year and, and get the scout. That might be a good yeah, idea. Get, get the scout from him. <laughs> um, but, you know, we have to do what we do better. You know, we've, we've got to do a good job of playing our base defense and sharing the basketball, just kind of like I said, and just running our stuff. You know, we, we, we have a solid offense, and we'll get wide open looks out of it, and we did tonight, um, but we can't, we can't let off the gas and, mm-hmm. and and I thought we played a little selfish at times, and we, we got to keep sharing the ball. We're not good enough to, uh, to to play that way. I think when you go back and look at it again, you're going to see some pretty good effort out there tonight. Oh, no question. And uh, especially in the first half of play where you let it like they did, you converted, uh, got some good team play, and just uh, things start to unravel a little bit. Mays is a good team. They'll take advantage no of question. that. So I think you're going to see some good things. Yeah, our guys play hard. I will give them that. I thought they played extremely hard. and. And, uh, and, and they didn't, you know, they didn't back down and they, you know, at the end of the game, you know, it, it, it could have got away from them. It could have got ugly. Uh, but they, they chose to stay the course and fight until the, the final, uh, horn and, and they did. And I'll credit them. All right, Brad, we'll appreciate it. I'll catch up with you a little pregame uh, recording before. We enjoy doing that today. Appreciate it. Have a nice drive home. Appreciate you guys. You betcha, no doubt about that. We're going to take a quick, uh, timeout. We'll come back and wrap things up. Dan and I with some final thoughts right after this. You've been listening to The Coach's Show on BW Radio. The Coach's Show has been brought to you by The Medicine Shop, 14th and May. Thanks for listening to Salt Talk Sports on KWBW Radio, 1450 AM and 98.5 FM. Welcome back. Glenn Grimmel, Dan Nacarado, your final 69-61. May's a winner tonight. But, Dan, I saw some things I saw that I liked out there. I'm sure you did as well. And looking forward to the next game, which will be coming up this Friday night. It was a good high school basketball game, two teams playing hard. And, again, Hutchinson, you'd have to say, exceeded expectations by far tonight. Mays is ranked fourth in the state of Kansas in 5A, and they deserve that ranking. They blew out Dodge at Dodge 75-35, to and that's a Dodge team that on Saturday blew out Newton. Mm-hmm. So it's Crazy Arc Valley. Oh, that, mm-hmm. that's, that's right. So... We have every reason to be optimistic, and we're looking forward to Friday night when 
the Bueller Crusaders and Ryan Swanson come to the Salt Hawk activity. No doubt so, about it. Looking forward to it. A special thanks to Sarah Peterson who did some of the video photography, not for the Mays Eagles. There. They had their stream up, but she did it <laughs> in a basement someplace in Hutchinson. Did a great job there. Also, Stu had it doing a great job as chief engineer tonight at the BW Studios. Appreciate all our fine sponsors. Appreciate you tuning in. And again, with the home game, we'll be in sync with the audio. And that will be our camera that will be doing the, the work up there. So look forward to that coming up this Friday. On behalf of Dan Nacarado, again, your final for May 69 for the Mays Eagles, Hutchison 61. So long, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your evening.